welcome to Real Conversations in English with Liz and Adam. I'm Liz Wade, and this is Adam Navis. Hello, everyone. And this is our conversation program for Spotlight English. And today we are talking about something sweet hmm. and cold and delicious. It is ice cream around the world. Oh, wonderful. I know, right? Well, we did pizza a little while ago, and now we've got to do another delicious world food. I was actually surprised to find that um, ice cream really is an ancient and uh, worldwide food. So yeah, um, yeah. you can find, if you have not listened to that program yet, you can find the link in the description below, or I'll also link the videos um, up in that little, little dot I, and you can um, check out those programs in a classic version and an advanced version. And uh, we also have another video for that as well, mm. um, that we have a special video this week. And so you can check that out as well, and I will link that when it goes live. Um, Please, before we start, make sure um, to like this video, to push that subscribe button, and uh, push the little bell so that you never miss a notification for any of our programs. And also, if you uh, want to be a part of the wider Spotlight English community, we have recently started memberships, and those are a really great way to get more for your English learning experience and to support uh, Spotlight English as a whole project. How so do people sign really up for love... those? What? How do people sign up? Oh, you just hit the join button right oh. below this video. Is it you that simple? You hit the simple? join button, and um, for every level of support that you give, you get something extra from us, including uh, your name at the end of this video as a supporter of Spotlight English. So this is all really exciting, but it is not as exciting as ice cream? No, Maybe? It, very little know. is as exciting as ice cream, I think. <laughs> I know. So um, in this program, it just really covers a whole wide range of uh, information. We talk about um, the history of ice cream. I was surprised to hear that it's over 2,500 years old, for one, or 2,500 years old. Um, we talk about the different kinds of ice cream, um, that were in the in the past mm -hmm. and the business of ice cream who knew it was a huge business uh and also what else do we talk about in this program oh yeah we give a recipe for you to try at home and uh that is very exciting i can't wait to talk about that a little bit later but adam um so are you an ice cream person I or not Oh, so I, I definitely am. Let's be let's be clear here. I am an ice cream person. Uh, really? Though I I get a little grief, and this is not going to surprise you. Because oh my gosh, are you going to say no, that your you, favorite flavor is vanilla? Is that what you're going to say? Uh, uh, it's not my favorite flavor, <laughs> but I don't like the super sweet like. Ice cream has evolved so much, right? So it's become, yeah. you jam candy bars in, you jam all sorts of stuff <laughs> yeah. in. I don't like that kind of ice cream. It's overwhelming to me. Oh, I'm getting okay, old. I see. So I like I a vanilla-based ice cream rather than a chocolate-based ice cream. I like a few little right. things, but it the primary, the yes, is vanilla. And I, I do enjoy a good vanilla ice cream. Like, it doesn't, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I will say, okay, so vanilla can be good, but I would definitely not say that it's like my favorite ice cream. Um, but I get your, I, I understand your idea about like putting too much stuff mm -hmm. in an ice cream. Um, sometimes when you put in like say chocolate chips or chocolate chunks, yes. they're just too hard. They get too cold. Yeah, and then they and then they're not pleasant. The mouthfeel is mm -hmm. not pleasant. Um, and then I don't really like eating it. So I could see I could see that. I have been very I, into um, fruit. My, my oh, fruit in an ice cream. Yeah, blueberries or, or yeah. pineapple. Blueberries. Yeah, it's like cream and blueberries and cream, strawberries and cream. And no? did you say pineapple in an not ice cream? Not with the blue. 
Yeah, strawberry, pineapple, and 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 vanilla ice cream. Well, Adam, uh, the great thing <laughs> it's about been nice knowing you, Adam. Everybody gets their own flavor, yeah. so I don't have to eat that because that sounds disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it does melt the but, ice cream, the acidity okay, of the pineapple. So, so I'm going to say the best ice cream ever made is by Ben and Jerry's, and it is called Half Baked. Okay. And it has cookie dough bits oh. and um, a brownie, brownie bits. No. And it is delicious. No. See, so I'm going to argue. I'm going to. Uh, we're going to throw this whole script out, and I'm just going <laughs> to argue with you now. You don't have a script. <laughs> Cro cookie dough, cake batter. Uh, things that don't taste like ice cream don't make it into something else. Don't don't give me coffee ice cream. Don't give me uh, pie ice cream. Don't give me brown. You don't even give me brownie ice cream. Like it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so um, we're gonna have to move on because this conversation is getting quite heated. It might break out into a fight. Yeah. Uh, leave us your favorite ice cream below. Uh, maybe we could have an ice cream tasting. Uh, based on what we find. You know, I do think it's really interesting. Um, we talked about different kinds of ice cream in this program, but we did not talk about different flavors of ice cream from That's different true. countries in this program. And I know that, um, like, for example, in Japan, matcha ice cream is very popular, but um, it is not popular in the States. I just I had, had that had the other day. You had it? Yeah, they they started selling it. And it's these, it, you're talking about those little balls of... No, that's mochi. Okay. I'm talking about like green tea, like oh, matcha. Oh, green tea. Yes, yes, cream. yes. No. Yes. Yeah, we have mochi quite often, actually. I oh, kind dear. of like mochi. It wasn't, it wasn't bad. Yeah. I like that kind of gluey texture. Some of it was better. Like, I think there was a peach flavor that was really quite good. Yes. So what I love about this, though, is that... Um, mm. It's kind of like pizza in the way that people um, just really love an ice cream flavor or don't, yeah, right? I... Everyone's got their own opinions about ice cream. Oh, okay. I'm going to test you then. Are you ready? Okay. Yes. I'm, I'm going to give you three different flavors and okay. you, and I'm going to try to find one that you're like right in the middle about that you don't either love or hate. Okay. 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 We're going to go with... Uh, this is a ice cream that is very popular with kids, has a variety of names. Um, it's v it's like three or four different colors, all very bright. And I, I think know, I it know as, what you're talking about. I know it as Superman ice cream. Yes, I love Superman no! ice cream. No, no. I How... love it. It's like my favorite kind. Oh. So this Superman ice cream, my guess, it might be a local thing. Like it might be a sort of Midwest United States ice cream yeah um and it is a uh, blue moon flavor which is like uh, cotton candy. i think a, i think a cherry and then a, a vanilla yeah, but it's okay. bright blue and bright red it and looks like it should come out of a nuclear reactor it's so <laughs> okay yeah, so we found it's I, I got not two a more ice cream i got two more um what is that one like there's there's always one my dad would always get when I was a kid. And I'd be like, who would eat that? It was like pralines and cream or something. Yeah. Um, I would probably say I would never order that. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't actually, if there was a carton of pralines ice cream in yeah. my, or like you're probably talking about butter pecan. Butter pecan. Yes. Butter pecan. That's what it was. If there was butter pecan in my freezer, I probably wouldn't eat it. I'd be like, eh, not worth it. No, see, there. See, so, so we're in the we're we're closing in on the middle. I'm you gonna know try what to, that is? It's an old people ice it's cream. It's an old people ice cream. That's what I think. <laughs> so okay, so now I'm gonna try to come up with one that you don't like. Is there okay. an ice cream you don't like? Um, I Hot. would say I would never eat a pot. Well, okay, I won't. I won't say never. I would probably not choose to eat an ice cream with pineapple in it. Oh, a tropical like. Mix in, yeah, it's good. How do you, okay, no. so here, how do you feel, you're gonna have to explain this one. How do you feel about banana splits? Oh, I like banana splits. It's kind of like um, a hot fudge sundae, 
But um, I'm definitely going to include a picture of a banana split in this yeah, conversation yeah. right here. So um, it's basically you take a banana and you cut it in half the long way. Right. And right. then you put it on in a big dish. You have to have a banana split dish. A boat, I believe it's called. A yeah, banana. a boat. I do not have one of those. So I actually don't eat this ever. Yeah. And then you put three scoops of vanilla ice cream. And then you have your toppings. Right, because well, you have three scoops because it's got to fill that whole banana. Yeah, I always um, thought you get like chocolate, vanilla, and and strawberry scoops. Oh, really? Maybe you can get whatever. Well, whatever. Yeah. Um, and then you put like toppings on it, like a hot fudge sundae. So you'd put like whipped cream and fudge, and maybe peanuts and cherry on top. A cherry on top, whatever else you'd put on it. So I would I would eat a banana split, but I haven't in maybe ever. It is the kind of thing sometimes you split with other people. Maybe that's why it's called banana split. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Share. Split means So, share. okay. So getting back to this program, <laughs> um, I thought it was really funny that, um, okay, so ice cream is a huge business. It's like something like $68 million U.S. Oh, a probably year. billion. <clears throat> no, I don't think so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... I think it's $68 million. Um, and they own, they think it's going to hit a billion almost in uh, 2020. Yeah, $68 million U.S. Okay. Okay. And it will hit almost, it'll hit, uh, no, it won't hit a billion. It will hit almost $100 million in a couple years. Okay. okay. It's going up. It's trending up. It's going up. But one of the things during 2020 when everything was shut down, um, people bought a lot more ice cream. And they think it is because it's a comfort food. So people want to feel good uh, and, um, you know, everything around them is crumbling and they can't see any friends. And, so you just and sit there is with bad. a big tub of ice cream. And you just want to uh, have a carton of ice cream and maybe just with a spoon straight out of that carton yeah. and you just want to eat it. Yeah. And um, maybe that is what also led to... Um, some of the fitness craze in 2020, where people <laughs> bought a bunch of exercise equipment. They're gonna have um, a dumbbell in one hand, some ice cream. <laughs> oh, I'm doing curls. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so that increased the sales of uh, of ice cream. Which, well, when I when I learned that, I was like, oh yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So before we end, we have to talk about the recipe. Oh yes, okay. So have you ever made ice cream in I, a in a container like this? I have a memory of as a kid trying it and it not really getting cold enough. Mm. So um I will say I made this video and um I had a special assistant as well. Okay. My assistant was Freya, who is uh, my daughter, my youngest daughter. You know that already, but I'm just explaining it. Um and she of course is uh an ice cream lover she loves ice cream and so she was the perfect assistant for this video and we we followed this recipe that we have on our website and um below on the on the video and it was super simple and it was actually delicious and very easy and it turned out it made great ice cream so i think that's a great uh if you're watching this video you've made it this far You've let us know your favorite flavor. Go watch that video. Yes. And then please, please send us a video of you making ice cream. Oh, it took us amazing. about 10 minutes total with like measuring the ingredients and putting everything in. Um, and it and after we were done, um, I have older kids as well. And they were like, well, what could we put? Could we put chocolate in it? Could mm. we make chocolate ice cream? Could we put fruit in it? Um, and so it was it was very exciting and uh it turned out really well. And it tasted good. Yeah, it did taste good. And you said you had a hard uh, a hard time getting it like um like hardened oh, yeah. ice cream. We didn't have that problem at all. Oh. Like I, maybe you needed more salt or ice. It did well, uh melt I, a lot I'm, of I I'm going to go try and do it again and and maybe I'll post to the comments of my attempt or maybe I'll just run to the store and get some ice cream. <laughs> I will. Okay, so uh, last question before we wrap up. What ice cream is in your freezer right now, Adam? Well. Any ice cream? There is some ice cream, and it's just vanilla. 
Of that is, 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 uh, well, okay, so here's why. I, we don't tr keep up, well, I think there's some other ice cream that might be in the back somewhere, a small thing. But we were making uh, root beer floats for the kids. Oh, yeah. So that definitely requires vanilla ice cream, which is simply a glass of root beer with, uh, then you put some vanilla ice cream in it. Oh, I do love that. That is very delicious. You, the one thing about vanilla is that you can use it for a bunch of different yes. stuff. Yeah, you can make shakes with it. You can make root beer floats, Goes which I noticed pie. you say you say root beer floats, and I root, say root root, root beer root floats. Beer floats. Yeah. Um, so in my freezer right now, we used to have vanilla, but we used it on a strawberry shake, nice. which is the only thing you should use vanilla for, just for <laughs> something else. Um, and we have a uh, chocolate chunk. So it's like right. a vanilla with chocolate chunks in it. And we have uh, my one of my very favorite ice creams. Wait, let me it guess. Is a, okay. I know I've said it. In I'm going to go show. with mint chocolate chip. It is. But it's a very, it's a very, um, it's a brand specific mint chocolate oh, okay. chip. Is it Andy's? No. Uh, it's Trader Joe's. Okay. Trader Joe's mint chocolate chip is my favorite. And now uh, we're not sponsored by them or anything. So though, if you are uh, working for Trader Joe's and would like to sponsor Spotlight, yes. let us know um, in the yeah, comments. So we want to know what ice cream is in your freezer right now, if there is one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If there is ice cream, or what your favorite favorite flavor is, make sure you subscribe. Hit the little bell. Always get a notification. Don't miss any videos. Join as a member if you want to be a supporter of Spotlight English. It's really new. So if you get in right now, you are one of the first people to uh, be a member. Uh, check us out on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram now, and Twitter. And uh, yeah, leave us a comment. Give us a like there so that uh, other people can see that and then uh, come join us in Spotlight English. Uh, and that's all we have to say right now about ice cream. I'm sure that I have much more to say about ice cream Indeed. that we could not fit in this conversation. Um, but listen, watch, practice, learn, spotlight out. <laughs>